the announcement to uh, support more ITE students and graduates, you know, with more funding. Uh, I, I think that's very important as well, you know, help them get they get their diploma, they can upskill themselves. Yep. Maybe, yeah, I'll ask uh, Pauline and Samad, uh, will, this, will this help narrow the gap with, with uh, tertiary graduates? Uh, Pauline? I think it, it, I'm sure the <laughs> ITE grads are very appreciative of this, right? So um, it's an important move because it allows them to continue to dream, right? Mm. To reach, rise to their aspirations. So the trick here is, are we ready to receive them? So. I mean, yeah. th these announcements okay. have been fantastic, right? But um, the, de the devil is in the details. So are polytechnics ready to receive a lot of times older ITE graduates? Because I think if we just plug them into existing classes, the chances of success may be, you know, okay. plateaued, right? So for, for Singapore, I think in general, the next step for us in terms of education is learning how to receive older students and leveraging their experience and curating new curriculum, right, that will service right. their needs and not just put them in with our existing classes. I think, I think Pauline, our um, institutes of higher learning are mm. adapting. Mm. So I think I am quite confident that they will be able to take on board these adult learner, learners. Uh, some of them will be fresh grads from the ITE mm. going straight to Polytechnic, but some will be a bit older. And the polytechnics, the ITE themselves will, I'm sure, be able to take them on board and uh, make sure that the curriculum is suitable for their needs. Not to mention that the range of offerings are now much wider. It's not just going to polytechnics alone yep. because the ITEs now also offer their own study technical diplomas, diplomas yeah, work and study diplomas. work study diplomas yeah. together with a growing pool of yes. companies that are very keen to have these students come on board, work mm -hmm. with them, and study at the same time. Yeah. So the range of offerings have grown and we will be able to provide better uh, career and wage prospects for our ITE graduates. So you talk about ITE students. I think these are a group of unique students. Yeah. Right? They are sometimes, uh, hence, uh, skills, skills personnel. So by having a head start, giving them the uh, sponsorship, and then even in future, your CPF top up, these are yeah. good things for ITE students. Mm -hmm. the, the challenge is how welcoming, uh, not just about the IHL, but the employers outside taking in IT students. Because nowadays, I think we feel challenged like even in FNB. Not many younger generations want to do that. So we need to find what is the challenge for IT students. You can go through a diploma. Right. right? If everyone goes up the ladder from IT, goes through a diploma, goes through a degree, what we are worried start to see now is the lack of skilled Singaporeans. Uh, so this one could be uh, maybe you go as you further your studies. Mm. Let's deepen the skills that we need. Yeah. We cannot be depending on foreigners to just do skill sets. No, we very completely agree with what Brother Samad yeah. said. That the, the, the idea of encouraging and motivating these mm. students to do a diploma is really deepen. to deepen mm. the skill yeah. sets that they picked up in ITE. Correct. You could be a lift technician in <laughs> yes. ITE. Correct. Then you do a diploma in the same area and you deepen your skills, you could do a work-study diploma mm. yeah. and you can work and study at the same time together with one of the lift companies. And there are many opportunities like that in different areas which we are trying to build up more of.